Hello friends, this video on arithmetic progressions part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 3. To minus 1, b is equal to 1 by Here the term will be min a, a plus d that is minus 1 plus 1 by 2, a plus 2d that is minus 1 plus 2 into 1 by 2, correct? a plus 3d that is minus 1 into 3 into 1 by 2, a plus 4d minus 1 plus 4 into 1 by 2, correct? This becomes minus 1, this becomes minus 1 by 2, this becomes 0, 1 by 2, 1. So this is my series. Let's take one more example. A is equal to minus 1.25 and D is equal to minus 0.25. Here the first term will be A that is minus 1.25. The second term will be A plus D this is minus 1.25 plus minus 0.25. The third term will be a plus 2d that is minus 1.25 plus 2 into minus 0 0.025. Fourth term will be again minus 1.25 plus 3 into minus 0 0.025. What I am doing here? This is a, a plus d, a plus 2d, a plus 3d and so on. So the series will be minus 1.25 comma minus 1.5 comma minus 1.75 comma minus 2 points. Very simple. Just we use the formula. The series is nothing but a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d a plus 4d and we have got the arithmetic progression. Now the question is we have to write the first term and common difference for the AP. If you observe this clearly the first term is 3 anyway. The common difference we have to find. Let's find a difference. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. Minus 1 minus 1 minus 2. Minus 3 minus minus 1 is minus 2. So here a is equal to 3 and d is equal to minus 2. Very simple. One more example. a is equal to minus 5 given. Minus 1 minus minus 5 that is minus 1 plus 5 that is 4. 3 minus minus 1 4. Right difference. 7 minus 3 4. You see the difference is 4 everywhere. So we can say that a is equal to minus 5 the first term and d is equal to. One more example 0 0.6, 1.7, the difference is 1.1. 2.8, 1.7, difference is 1.1. 3.9, 2.8, is 1.1. So here also if you see the difference is 1.1 and the first term is 0 0.6. So a is equal to 0 0.6 and d is equal to 1.1. Very simple. If you have the series, you can find the common difference and the first term. And if you have the first term and common difference, you know the series. Let's take an example. We have to write the next three terms. First, let's find whether it is AP or not. The difference here is 2. 8 minus 4 is 4. 16 minus 8 is 8. The difference is not constant. So this is not an AP. So we can't write the next three terms. Correct. Only if there is an AP, we can write the next three terms. If it is not AP, we can't write the next three terms. Very simple. Let's take this example. 5 by 2 minus 2, 5 by 2 minus 2 is nothing but 1 by 2 difference. 3 minus 5 by 2 is also 1 by 2 difference. And 7 by 2 minus 3 is also 1 by 2 difference. So this is an AP. And D is equal to 1 by 2. And A is equal to 2. Correct? Now we have to find next 3 terms. So on this term, if you add 1 by 2, you will get next term. So 7 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is nothing but 8 by 2 is 4. So you will get 4 here. Now on 4 you add 1 by 2. Again, you will get 9 by 2. So the next term will be 9 by 2. On 9 by 2 again you add 1 by 2. Correct? You get 5. So 5. So next 3 terms are 4, 9 by 2 and 5. Very simple. As we have learned from the definition of the last, I mean in any term, if you add the dif common difference you get the next term. Last term was 7 by 2. On that we added a common difference. This becomes the next. Let's take one more example. Minus 1 by 2, minus 3.2, minus 5.2, minus 7.2. The difference here is 2. Actually minus 2. Correct? Minus 3.2, minus minus 1.2 is 2. Here also minus 2. Here also minus 2. Right? Minus 7.2, minus minus 5.2. That is minus 7.2 plus 5.2. That is 2. Minus 2. 
difference is constant. So we can say this is AP. Now to get the next term, what we have to do? We have to add on this term the D that is on minus 7.2. We have to add minus 2. That will get is minus 9.2. So the next term is minus 9.2. To get a more term, what we have to do in this term minus 9.2, again we have to add d and d is minus 2, that will get minus 11.2, correct? This is minus 11.2. Now, to get another term on this term minus 11.2, you again have to add d, have to add minus 2. What will get is minus 13.2, minus 13.2. So this is my next three times. Very simple. First, you have to find whether the series or AP or the AP which you have been given is AP or not. Whether the term which you are given is AP or not. So, in first case, we found it was not AP. So, we stopped. In second, in third case, we found it was AP. So, we went further and found the next three terms. Let's take few more examples. Now, first, let's find whether it is AP or not. Minus 6, minus, minus 10, difference is 4. Minus 2, minus, minus 6, difference is 4. 2 minus minus 2 differences. So now to find the next term on this last term, I'll add the common difference. So 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. So this term will become 6. To find one more term, on this term I'll add common difference. 6 plus 4 that is 10. To find one more term, on 10 I'll add 4. This will become 14. So this is my series. Correct? Let's take one more example. So here, the series is 3, 3 plus root 2, 3 plus 2, root 2, 3 plus 3, root 2. We find the difference between 3 plus root 2 and 3 differences, root 2. 3 plus 2, root 2 and 3 plus root 2 differences, root 2, again, right. Here also differences, root 2, because 3 plus 3, root 2, minus 3 plus 2, root 2 differences, root 2. So difference is root 2, right, that we have seen, difference is root 2 and thus it is a AP. To find the next term on this term, that is 3 plus 3 root 2, let me add root 2. What I will get? 3 plus 4 root 2. So the next term is 3 plus 4 root 2. Now on this term, 3 plus 4 root 2, let me add root 2 again. So what I will get? 3 plus 5 root 2. So I will get 3 plus 5 root 2. Now on this term again, 3 plus 5 root 2, let me add root 2 again. What I will get? 3 plus 6 root 2. So it will be 3 plus 6 root 2. So my next three terms are 3 plus 4 root 2, 3 plus 5 root 2 and 3 plus 6 root 2. Very simple. Here also we have found a common difference and we found the common difference was constant that is root 2. Thus we can conclude that this is an AP. Once we conclude that this is an AP, we found the next term by adding D to this term to get this term and then we added D to this term to get this term and then we added D to this term to get this term. Correct? Let's take one more example. 0 0.2, 0 0.22, 0 0.22, 0 0.22. Let's find the difference. 0 0.2 and 0 0.22, the difference is 0 0.02. Correct? If you have 0 0.22, you subtract 0 0.20, you get 0 0.02. Now, in this case, the difference is 0 0.222 by 0 0.220. Here, 0 0.222 and 0 0.220, the difference is 0 0.002. So, the difference is 0 0.002. And we can see the difference is not constant, right? So we can say this is not a Because here the difference is 0 0.02, here the difference is 0 0.00. Let's take some more example. 0 minus, point, minus 4, minus 8, minus 12. The difference here is minus 4, here also minus 4, and here also minus 4. Since the difference is constant, I can see that this is an AP. To find next term, I'll add difference to this term. So this becomes minus 12 plus minus 4 that is minus 16 this is minus 16 the next term is minus 16 plus minus 4 that is minus 20 this term is minus 20 the next term is minus 20 plus minus 4 that is minus 20 so this term is minus 20 so we have got this series let's take one example 2 2 2 2 2 2 here if you see the difference is 0 here 0, here 0, here 0, everywhere the difference is 0. Since difference is 0, we can say it is a AP. So the next term will be 2 plus 0, that is 2. This term will be 2. Now all the term will be 2. Actually if you add 0 to any term, you will get 2. 
So this will be 2, 2, 2, 2, 6. One more example. Here the difference is 2. Here the difference is 6. And here the difference is 18. The difference is not constant. So it is not an AP. One more example. A, 2A, 3A, 4A. Here the difference is A. Here difference is A. Here difference is A. Why? 4A minus 3A, A. 3A minus 2A, A. 2A minus A, A. Since the difference is constant, we define the next term. Next term is nothing but 4A plus A. The last term plus the difference, that is 5A. So I got 5A. One more term I have to find. On this term, let me add the common difference. This becomes 6A. Next term we have to find. On this term, we have to find add common difference. That becomes 7A. So my AP is 5A, 6A and 7. Let's take some more example. A, A square, A cube, A4. Here the difference will be A square minus A. Right? Here the difference will be actually A cube minus A square. This difference. And this difference is nothing but A4 minus A cube. And if you see the difference is not constant. Right? This, all these values are different. So this is also not an A. Root 2, root 8, root 18, root 32. If you find the difference between root 2, let me write this in this form first. This is nothing but root 2. Root 8 is nothing but 2 root 2. 2 is a 4, 4 into 2 is 8. Root 18 is nothing but 3 root 2. 3, 3, 3 is 9, 9 into 2 is 18. And 32 is nothing but 4 root 2. You can verify. 8 we can write as nothing but 2 root 2 because root of 8 is nothing but root of 2 square into 2 and 2 square I can take out that becomes 2 18 is nothing but root of 3 square into 2 3 square is, I can take out this becomes 3 similarly 32 root is nothing but 4 square 16 into 2 so 4, 4 square I can take out this becomes 4 this is my sequence now I'll find a difference between this and this 2 root 2 minus root 2 difference is root 2 root 3, 3 root 2 minus 2 root 2 difference is root 2 4 root 2 minus 3 root 2 difference is root 2 so here I see the difference is constant right so d is nothing but root 2 that is sure since d is root 2 I can find the next term for this the next term is root 32 is nothing but 4 root 2 4 root 2 plus root 2 that is 5 root 2 so this, this term is 5 root 2 next term again 5 root 2 plus root 2 is 6 root 2. So this term is 6 root 2. Again one more term 6 root 2 the last term plus root 2 the d that is 7 root 2. This becomes 7 root 2. What I have done? The last term I have added d. This is d. This term again I have taken here and on that I have added d. This term again I have taken here and on that I have added. So this is my next three terms. 5 root 2, 6 root 2 and 7. Let's take one more series. Nth term of an AP. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.